This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS application. Hello everyone and welcome back to the new video of Adobe WordPress. On this channel, we talk all about WordPress and today we are gonna see how you can create your own learning website very easily using LearnPress plugin. So first thing first, we have to go to plugins and then on add new. Search for LearnPress. Click on the first option. Install now LearnPress WordPress LMS plugin. And after the installation is done, you have to click on activate button. Now the plugin is activated and you will see a option on your left side tab here. So here on LearnPress you can create courses, category, quizzes, statistics and all of the things and here you will see a quick setup option also. So let's click on quick setup. So now you have to click on run setup wizard so these are all the pages that will be created automatically you can even create a new now click on continue here you have to set up your paypal email and currency And next is how you want to create your first course. So let's install a demo course for now. Click on install here for creating a sample data. So now sample course has been created. You can click on view or click on edit to edit it. So you can see it on your courses. If you click on courses, you will be able to see the sample course that is created. How many things it has? It has 8 section, 88 lessons and 8 quizzes. And it's free of price. So let's click on edit option here. To see so this is its detail about the course this is the course name here are the lessons and inside each lesson we have some content in it so to edit the lesson content you can go to lessons here and here you will see all of the lessons and you can click on edit to edit their contents. Like click on edit. So this is the text shown. You can choose it to be an image or a video. Or just leave it to standard format. Next is the quizzes. So here you can add new quizzes or edit the sample quizzes that are created right now. So this is the text that is shown here, this is the question and here are the multiple choice answers. This is the description and the point they will get 
for answering the correct by choosing the correct option you can even add in the hint and even add the explanation to the answer so these are all the questions in quiz 1 next thing is questions so here you can edit the questions also click on edit option here so these are the questions that are added to the quizzes so here it will show you the text and the answer you can even click on add a new answer to add new answer to this question and you can choose which of the answer is correct so let's create our own quiz now click on new quiz add a title add a description anything Here are the questions. So let's click on select item. So all of the questions are used right now. So you have to create a new question to use it on your new quiz. So let's leave it for now. Or you can do is create a new question also. So here you will see that the every question is used in each of the quizzes right here. So let's click on add new option here to create our own question. So this is the answer. So let's leave it to true or false. Now you can even change the text here. Anything. Now let's just publish it. We can publish. Now in select items, click on select item and here one question will be shown which is not added to any of the quiz so click on add here now it will be shown the options to have it as true or false or multiple choice this is the duration for the quiz passing grade for the quiz and instant check negative marking you can even add negative marking so these are all the settings for the quiz just click on publish to publish this quiz so now demo quiz will be published same goes for the lessons also in lessons you can click on add new here and create your own lesson like demo lesson 1 add in the lesson details even the video you can add in
you can choose the duration of the lesson like 30 minutes or so you can click on preview to allow the student to see the lesson without accessing the course click on publish to publish this lesson so now we have created one quiz and one lesson that is not assigned to any course so now we can create our own course also so let's go to courses and click on add new so name it as demo course so this is how we are creating our first course you can type in the description of the course here and now you can add the section like section 1 so now section 1 will be created and I can add a lesson in it so it will show me the lesson that I have created just now so demo lesson 1 I can add a new section can name it as quiz section and click enter to create it also and now I can add my created quiz in it so now I have created my own course I have entered the lesson I have entered the quiz and inside the case we have questions also I can see the general settings like block content when the duration expires the course is blocked allow repurchase of the course you can choose the levels so you can choose it to be intermediate, beginner or expert level course You can choose the maximum students. You can choose the option finish button. If someone wants to complete the code. Course. Feature list. You can add the course to feature list. Next is the pricing. So you can choose the regular price. And the sale price also. Next is there is no enrollment required. Student can see the content of all the course taking the quiz without login. So this is not recommended. Next is extra information. Requirement, target audience, key features and facts. Next is assessment. So evaluation and passing grade of the course. And here you can choose the author of the course. So now let's click on publish to create our first course. Now it is published. So we can see our course on our site. Inside the course list. Here on all courses, you will see there are two courses. This is the course we have created just now, and you can see a featured band label here because we have checked the featured option. Now, anyone can click on view more to see more about course. So, here they will show in the description, overview, curriculum, and instructor details. They have to buy this course. After purchasing this course, the course will be activated. So let's see how the course works. I will change its pricing to zero. 
because we have not added any payment method for now. Click on update. So now if I click on demo course, I can start for free. So this is how the user will see the course and if he clicks on start now, the course will be activated. So they will be redirected to lesson 1. They can click on complete after completing the lesson. It will ask you again that you have completed it or not. And if user click on yes, they will be sent back, sent to the next section. Here they can start the quiz. And now they can finish the quiz by clicking on finish quiz. So this is the time spent, point, questions, correct answer, wrong skip. All of the details about the case will be shown and they have an option finish course here so if they click on this the course will be finished for them and they will be redirected to the course page so this is how you can create your own course by using learn press So now here on orders, you will be able to see all of the orders placed. You can see the categories and tags. You can even add new category and tags. You can see the statistics of the course here. Course purchased and when they are purchased, users, courses orders you can see all of the statistics here so here on settings you can change general course profile you can add payment option also you can configure paypal you can choose the emails how the email is sent you can manage it you can change the permalinks and advance you will be able to see the primary color, how the course looks like. You can change it in advance. Secondary color, primary color. So that's all for the settings. And in tools, you will be able to see simple tools like database, templates, and even learn press beta version you can activate it from here so there are no templates for now you can get it now the LMS WordPress theme So for that you have to purchase a license also and here it's pricing. You can even go ahead with the free version of it with default templates. So this is how you can create your own course website by just using a simple plugin and configuring it is also easy and it is very easy to use for the users also that's it for this video thank you for watching hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to educate wordpress